Earlier today, as strong storms were moving through the northern area of the state, Coleman County, just north of Birmingham and White City, was heavily damaged with some uh, suspected tornadic wind from a tornado worn storm that was rolling through. But you can see the telephone poles snapped trees down all across that area. The National Weather Service survey teams will be out tomorrow to check it out to see if it actually was a tornado that touched down. But in other parts of uh, Coleman County, at the very least, they did report a funnel cloud in the area, so there's a pretty decent chance that that tornado did touch down. But either way, heavy weather with it doesn't matter if it's a tornado wind or a straight line wind. The damage could be just as strong and just as bad for areas that are worn. Now, as far as our area, luckily quieter weather, just some showers moving into our area, and that's going to be the case as we do head into the overnight hours and through the day tomorrow. We'll have more in the way of some showers moving through. But as far as the heavier weather right now, we do have a pretty strong storm to the northeast of Birmingham, a tornado worn storm from Randolph County crossing over into Georgia right now. The storm that was worn near Wetumpka starting to weaken now, and that's going to be the trend as we do head into the overnight hours. Stuff south of Montgomery, this is what we'll be moving through our area as the front does approach us much weaker. Maybe some gusty wind with some of the stronger cells that set up, but no severe weather threat for us. There is a tornado watch though for the river region into uh, east central Alabama and even uh, the Atlanta Metro until 12 midnight tonight central daylight time. So uh, that's going to be expiring as those storms continue to move off to the east and weaken. So some good news there as far as our temperature still on the mild side, thanks to that south wind at 10 miles per hour. The moisture levels are increasing, so really mild temperatures are expected for us in the overnight hours. Check it out. Overnight lows in the lower 60s to middle 60s for most locations off to the west. Pretty decent chance that some locations will be staying near 70 degrees and the temperatures tomorrow will be slow to climb with the cloud cover and rain chances. Just the lower 70s expected for afternoon high temperatures. The best chances for rain will be in the first part of the day, then gradually tapering off as we do head into the later afternoon hours and certainly going into the evening conditions will dry out. So some showers possible for us tonight and through the day tomorrow and that system will be clearing out as we do head into the weekend. A cool and nice weekend, mostly dry weekend is expected for us other than Saturday morning. There might still be some lingering showers, but they will be pretty short lived and moving out of the area as we head into the later part of the day. Seasonal weather then expected for next week, mostly dry. We could see about a week or so without any rain chances in the forecast, so some good news there will be able to dry out a bit, but the temperatures staying right about where they should for this time of the year. Now that frontal boundary that has been moving through the region that will finally clear through our area as we head through the day tomorrow. There it is. First thing overnight tonight, some showers will be approaching us after sunrise or so. We could see some spotty showers, a few brief downpours possible, and then another stretch of rain will move through in the early afternoon hours and then possibly by dinner time. The radar will be clearing out and then first thing Saturday morning, we could have a, another wave of moisture move in just as that boundary is sliding off to our south and east early in the morning, then the afternoon. Mix of sun and clouds with temperatures on the cool side. Probably the lower 60s expected for those afternoon temperatures. There's that rain approaching us early tomorrow morning. First thing, temperatures staying very mild, and it looks like it'll be a fairly cool day compared to where we have been. Lower 70s expected for those temperatures, and that trend of cooler weather will continue into the weekend as we dry out, warming up a bit Sunday and Monday, but right about where we should be for this time of the year, and then slightly cooler later in the next work week with a lot of sunshine, but St. Patrick's Day looking fantastic for us. And you know, the world's smallest uh, St. Patrick's